So they're thinking about allowing teenagers to be truck drivers. Check out that video up right hand corner of your screen. Also, upper right hand corner of your screen. I don't know if you're a real truck driver. So, um, my workers comp, today's Friday. I've been off work since Monday. I had to go on that dock again for midnight shift and um, do forklift operation. It's, a, it's, it goes with the territory, man, especially at ABF. When you're new, you're gonna have to work that dock. Understand that midnight shift is probably gonna be a part of your life for a while until you get people under you. That's just the reality of it. I'm fortunate. I've got six, six or seven guys now underneath me. So I'll see the dock at midnight once, maybe twice a month. The rest of the time I'm driving. And um, I know that a lot of you other drivers out there can agree that it gets frustrating you know to be the bottom guy and um have to go in at mid especially in midnight shift you know it sucks especially for us guys that are used to being out there and driving you know the one year that i did with mountain truck lines flatbed over the road uh the eight months that i eight months of experience i had at jb hunt plus the four other months at night transportation to make a year of dry van refrigerated experience um, I have experience both local and regional with uh, JD Hunt and Mountain Truck Lines was all over the road. Now LTL ABF, you know, it's, um, if you're coming over to LTL, that's, it is what it is, man. Understand you need to operate that forklift carefully because if you are hauling ass in and out of these trailers, it's going to affect your back. And I've got a sciatica problem now. It hurts. It hurts a lot. So Monday morning, I stepped off the forklift, just stepping off of the forklift. I thought to myself, this is, this is freaking ridiculous. The pain was excruciating. When I stepped off the dock, my feet hit the floor. I moved to the right and bam, that's when I felt it. My, my lower spine, it felt like something bit me and it was cold and it was hot at the same time and it was it shot up my spine i felt it to the point where it was in my mouth just the pain i couldn't move 20 seconds i just kind of stood there and was like geez louise man that that freaking hurts you know so i have experience in knowing what how how it feels and what it is to have sciatica issues uh, due to people in my life that have had sciatica issues like my mom, um, other friends, you know, that are a little older than myself and even my age, you know, and uh, it sucks. It hurts. It hurts a lot. Anyway, after hanging on the forklift, you know, that kind of separates uh, each each uh, vertebrae in your spine and kind of allows the disc because that's what's happening is the disc is hitting a nerve and uh there in that lower region you know it's the sciatica because it'll extend to a leg sometimes people got issues where the disc is hitting nerves on either side so it's going to extend down both your legs fortunately for me um it's only in my left leg but after hanging on the forklift, let me tell you, man, the pain extended in my leg. And each time I got up, up and down from that forklift, boy, did it hurt. It hurt my leg like a mother. Um, I didn't have the pain anymore so much in the back. But now as the days have gone on, I do have pain in my lower back. I noticed that it feels better if I'm walking around and kind of staying active in that way. But... And it, and it had me wanting to go back to work. But doctors suggested that I take their treatment, take workers comp for a couple few weeks and uh, try to correct um, this issue. Because if you continue on with it, pushing and pulling and all the stuff that we gotta do, you could really aggravate it and make it even more difficult and then prolong um, your time for recovery. and. 
I'm someone that wants to enjoy his retirement. You know, uh, I came to ABF to have, to get that pension and to be home every day and have my weekends off and have my birthdays paid off and you know, all, all these great benefits, right? That's why I came here to enjoy life. And uh, I don't wanna have to be dealing with issues like this. Doctor gave me a cummerbund to relieve pressure in the lower back. And I suggest you guys, you definitely get yourself one of those cummerbunds and wear that every time you gotta work the dock because you're, you're gonna take some shock to the back. You know, it is what it is. And uh, don't drive that forklift super fast. You know, these, these docks, sometimes they're uneven with the trailer. Sometimes the trailer's too high. Sometimes the trailer's too low. You know, it just depends. Every, every dock door is different and it could really screw your back up. So take your time, go slow. No one's rushing you, especially at ABF. That's the thing I like is, you know, no one's ever really rushing you. Monday, I went to the clinic. He gave me all that stuff, gave me a um, some pain medication and pain medication and uh, muscle relaxer. My first appointment yesterday on Thursday, 10 a.m. I went in, uh, you know, obviously pain is still here. So it's going to be it's going to be a couple or a few weeks of treatment now. After my appointment, I went across the hall to where they do the uh, the therapy, you know, the physical therapy, and they told me seven to ten, seven to ten days until the insurance responds to give me the okay to start the treatment. Now I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be less than that, so I'll let you guys know when that happens. But you know, important to document all this stuff. Uh, so that you guys become aware of how workers comp works and all that stuff and on how to have a better work life this safety precautions you can take stuff like that you know it's it's all a learning experience so i have an appointment set up for next friday and uh another checkup basically is what it is it's not for the physical therapy it's for a checkup and they're going to do an mri they did an x-ray on the monday that I got injured just to make sure all, you know, the bones are good. So my bones are good. The MRI will show the disc, you know, the nerve, all that. So they'll be able to see if there's a bulging disc or not, you know, obviously there is, you know, if my nerve is getting hit the way that it is, obviously there's a bulging disc and the severity and the amount of protrusion is based on how well or bad I've been treating my back, you know? So that's why it's important to treat things at the source. Don't think that just because it hurts one day and doesn't hurt another, that there's not some serious things going on. You gotta take care of these things. But um, workers comp is pretty good. The pay is still all right. I do have to only get paid every two weeks, but it is what it is. I gotta get myself right. That it will take that MRI next Friday and see how everything's looking, so. Anyways, nature of the business, I guess, man. Mr. By the Mile, you're home for discussions based on my knowledge and experience in trucking the Red Pill Survival. Take care, stay safe. All you truck drivers out there, new and veteran. See you on the road.